I wanna talk about property descriptions on real estate listings, and I love how controversial this gets sometimes. The property description is 1,000 characters that we put usually at the bottom of a listing uh, to tell the prospective buyer about why they might want to live there. Most sellers, maybe even some buyers, and a ton of real estate agents would make the argument that the property description really isn't that important. Doesn't matter, people aren't reading it. I find that absolutely fascinating. Think about this, let's just imagine that the prospective buyer, uh, you know, they put a price range into Zillow. Your property comes up, so it's within their price range, cool. They come to your listing, they look at the photos, they're impressed, they like what they see. They like the kitchen, they like the bathroom, they like the pool in the backyard, they like the view, they like whatever. Things are really going well. So they're scrolling through the listing and now they're kind of scrolling past all the property details. Like, all right, it's got the right amount of bedrooms, it's got the right amount of bathrooms, it's got the right square footage in the right school district, etc. Everything's checking all the boxes. The last thing that they're gonna do do, most likely, is go and read the property description. So let's say they get down to the property description and what it does is it restates in sentence form everything they just scrolled past, right? So they just scrolled past, all right, so it's a four bedroom, two bath house, it's got 2,500 square feet, it's in uh, Dallas ISD. So they, they just scroll past all that and they get to the property description and it goes, hey, it's a beautiful four bedroom, three bath house in Dallas ISD with 2,500 square feet, come see. What are the odds that that's going to be the, the thing that persuades them to take action. Not great, right? The reason for that is because logic makes us think, but it's emotions that make us act. You've probably heard at some point in your life, make a logical decision, don't make an emotional decision. Make a logical decision. Uh, impossible. The part of the brain that's responsible for decision-making is called the limbic brain. It's the mushy emotional part in the middle that doesn't have any capacity for logic. That's why people who get too much information get something called analysis paralysis, right? People make emotional decisions all the time on a whim. So what have we learned from this? What we've learned is that if we're going to use the property description for persuasive purposes, we have to light up the emotional part of the brain. It doesn't do us any good to light up the logical part of the brain because that causes analysis paralysis. It'll make them think about the listing, maybe it's perfect for them, but it will not make them act. We have to use the property description to describe why somebody would want to live in this house. Not the architecture, right? The lifestyle. Where does the warm natural sunlight come in through the windows? Where can you sit on the back patio and listen to the wildlife and drink your coffee? Talk about the sheen and the smoothness and the softness of the surfaces in that house. There is an art to writing a property description that lights up the right part of the brain that causes buyers to make the right decision about coming to see that piece of real estate. Let's just say that 99% of people who look at your listing do not read your property description. Fine. Aren't the 1% who are reading it begging you to sell that house to them? Aren't they begging you? They've gotten through everything else. They've gotten through the price. They've gotten through the photos. They've gotten through all of the details. They've gotten out of the property description and you've got the nerve to not sell it to them. What a waste. Property description is crucial. If we light up the right part of the brain, people are gonna make the decision to come and see your piece of real estate and they're more likely to put in an offer if they're in it in person.